Okay, this is my tutorial for uh, Noah Khan's sink. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight in. So, start with the verse. The verse is probably the hardest part of this song. Um, there's two main parts to it. You have this sort of bass line, which runs through the whole thing. And on, on top of that, you have this melody, which goes... which separately are two super easy things to do, but quite, uh, well, a little more tricky to do together. I think it's one of those things that I'll show you how to do it, but it might just take a few hours of practice to really kind of get your head around. Um, but there are only three chords in the verse, so that's quite good. So you start with this G, uh, which is diff different from, so normally you have this sort of fuller G chord. Maybe your go to, but for this, you're just going to need these two fingers, um, and you're going to use them, you're going to use these two instead of these two just to keep your index finger free. Okay, so you have G, then you move them down to C, and then you have E minor, and then you have another C. So, also not very tricky. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the trickier part so so we start the verse you're gonna have to this open this uh, G chord and then you're gonna hit this E string plug the B string hit the E string again and while that B string is still ringing you're gonna hammer on Master that little bit, that's probably going to help you with the rest of this song. So then, after that, you have so it's all sort of E, pluck, E, hammer on, E, pluck, E, hammer on, uh, and then E, pluck, E. So, yeah, maybe that'll help you get that in your head as you, as you do it. I'll play it real slow and you can just see the full thing. And you move down to C. said you just for a bit of practice you'll you have that down and then you go to E minor and to C and there I mean it's super easy so you're just gonna play the chord um, and then you just go between uh, E B and G not the notes but the strings and just and just repeat. And then with the C chord, you're gonna move, instead of the E, you're gonna have the A string, but it's the same pan. So just do it real slow. That's the verse. Um, oh, nearly. So there's kind of like a pre-chorus sort of thing that, um, that I need to show you as well. So that is just, if I run through that verse again, at the end of the verse, you land on the G chord and you just kind of, you don't have to worry about that melody thing. You just have to
and then you're into the chorus. So it's just keeping that G and you just, just ran around the same strings, uh, E, B and G. Uh, except you have this kind of run, so you have E, F sharp, and then your E minor chord, which is the chorus. Uh, okay, so chorus. <clears throat> this is much, much easier than the verse. You're just gonna. Um, there's just three chords again. You have E minor, C, and G. And then you have the same run you had going into the chorus. And that's it. I'm not going to go over that in loads of detail. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just strumming chords. Uh, but if you have any questions, I guess let me know. I'll try and help. Uh, so the last part of this song is the outro, uh, and that is essentially just the chorus, but you pluck the strings instead of strum them. Um, so this is how I play it. That's it. That's the full song. So, um, you know, so this is this is the first tutorial I've ever done. Uh, I'm not a guitar expert, uh, but I have been doing quite a lot of covers recently, and I have got slightly quicker at learning these songs from scratch. Um, so I don't know, maybe if there's something you want to know how to do, or or there's other songs that maybe you want to learn how to play, but no one's done tabs for them yet. Uh, just let me know in the comments, I'll see about doing some more of these. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.